any model UN is a simulation of the real UN, which brings together representatives of countries uh, from throughout the world and various committees addressing the same major problems, global problems, that the UN is addressing every day in the real world. The issues discussed include anything from the AIDS epidemic to nuclear nonproliferation. Each delegation presents position papers for their committees. These position papers outline their country's position and they should be well researched as far as what's been done on the topic thus far and then what the country would like to see done at the conference. Students develop some really important skills in Model United Nations. Uh, some of the most important skills are simply working with the act of diplomacy itself. I don't know of any educational experience that develops a wider variety of skills in our students. Uh, during the research phase, of course, they do a lot of research. Within the Model UN simulation, it's public speaking, it's large group decision making, consensus building, diplomacy, a wide range of skills that serve the students uh, very well, no matter what their future career field's going to be. So over the course of the last four years um, in participating at Model UN, I think I've really emerged more as a public speaker. Um, it really gives you an opportunity to be more comfortable speaking in front of large groups. But more than anything else, I think it allows, it has allowed me for the last four years to, to stop being a student for, you know, maybe a couple hours and actually work in a position that real people, you know, in the real world. I think that I've gained the skills necessary to be more confident uh, and to work with other people instead of trying to do everything on my own, trying and collaborate with a, a body of people and learn to work as a team. Yeah, one thing I would say about the one here is that uh, um, it's just always very efficiently run. Uh, you know, uh, George did a great job for years, and, and, this, and, the, and the kids here always did a great job. And uh, Brian's just continued that. Uh, you always have very professional background guides, and, and uh, you know, the staff is very good, and, and you get a, a wide range of, of kids. The cost is low. I mean, just in every single way, I mean, this is just an ideal opportunity. It's great to be able to come to um, an even larger metropolitan area and uh, see some schools uh, that we don't see otherwise throughout the rest of the year, even if we go to other Model United Nations conferences. The overall value a student, we hope a student takes away from their MKC and UN experience is a greater understanding of what it is to work with other people. This is not really a skill a student will learn in high school, it's mostly an independent learning situation and it's very important for the students here to work together for a common goal. I think that the Model UN has benefited the Kansas City metro area definitely because it's getting kids my age involved in issues that normally kids aren't talking about. And I mean, the majority of kids at my school, you know, probably wouldn't know what the Nonproliferation Treaty was even talking about. And I probably would have been one of those kids before I joined Model UN. I feel like we are going out in the community, we're more involved and educated about what is happening in the world around us and therefore we can educate others as well. 
the difference, I think, with uh, Model United Nations is that unlike a lot of these uh, events, uh, Model United Nations seems a lot more personal since it's the Kansas City metro area as opposed to the whole state of Missouri or the whole state of Kansas. The, the way that it's more intimate and that you know, you're allowed to discuss and you're allowed to talk because you're in a smaller setting, you're you know, more comfortable. But it also benefits the community by just instilling a much greater understanding of the complexities of the world's problems today and the need to find cooperative solutions and the, and the important role that the UN plays in the search for these solutions.